Alright, so in this video I will be sharing the latest news regarding the upcoming Ryzen 3000 series. We got price, release date, performance and much more guys. You don't want to miss this. Alright, so hey, how is it going guys? More news regarding Zen 2, you know the upcoming third generation AMD Ryzen CPU lineup. Rumors are pointing towards a fantastic CPU for gaming as well as streaming. So that's one of many reasons why I feel the need to share this information information with this new <laughs> Ryzen CPU. Now some of you guys have reached out to me on Twitter in the DMs asking for gaming PC builds etc. Now if you can hold your breath a few more months here guys it is definitely worth the wait because these new CPUs will perform fantastic and guess what they're going to be a hell lot cheaper than what Intel is offering us today in terms of cores but clock speed seems to be a lot better here as well. Anyway let's jump into the video once again i've spent quite a lot of time here investigating these new cpu guys once again i want to give a shout out to jim over on adore tv he is digging up a ton of new stuff regarding these new cpus all the time now we got some interesting news here coming from all places did you guys watch the ces amd keynote by the way hands up if you did i surely did i mean what else would i do with my spare time right anyways lots and lots of news here amd was talking about a lot of stuff but the most interesting takeaway was when they showed off the upcoming Zen 2 ryzen which was 8 core 16 threaded cpu this is what the cpu looked like by the way according to many rumors now this cpu is in fact a mid-ranged ryzen 5 3600 but yeah i'm gonna share a lot more information about this in a second anyway amd did a head-to-head -head comparison in cinebench which is basically a great cpu testing software to test how fast your cpu is and yeah they tested this uh, upcoming ryzen cpu versus intel's core i9 9900k and they got pretty much the same score only about 15 points advantage to the ryzen processor what's interesting though was the power consumption the upcoming Zen 2 ryzen was consuming about 30 percent less power than the core i9 processor and on top of that the the Ryzen was even faster than the Core i9-9900K. The Ryzen won over the Core i9-9900K with 1%. Can I get a hooray? Anyway, the fact that this is 7 nanometer versus 14 nanometer one can argue that these results should have been much much better but wait guys it's getting better here so uh don't quit this video yet before we go any further here let's talk a little bit more about seven nanometer and what it actually means basically what the smaller architecture allows is first and foremost more transistors on the same area better density basically but we also get better power consumption efficiency so that you can reach higher clock speeds for less power and as a result give us better performing ship simple as that uh, rumors has it that this ryzen cpu that we looked at worked at a clock speed at around 4.6 gigahertz according to unconfirmed sources on the ground they also mentioned that it is unclear how many of either cores will work with this turbo clock other rumors from reddit and facebook suggest that this cpu that they were showing off at the keynote was a stepping b revision based Basically a later quality sample of the Ryzen 5 8 core 16 threaded 65 watt TDP processor with a base clock of 3.7 GHz and turbo hitting 4.6 GHz. With these numbers in mind, jumping back to the huge AMD 3000 stack leak in i think it was december last year this looks to be like a ryzen 5 3600 right look at the numbers we got eight cores 16 threads base clock of 3.6 and boost to 4.4 65 watt tdp this isn't far off if you look at the numbers for 180 
dollars now keep in mind guys there are far cheaper cpus releasing with the 7 nanometer ryzen lineup as well for example we got this one this one will most likely be powerful enough and a serious alternative to game on yeah don't forget the fact that amd will be supporting the existing am4 socket for the lineup of the third generation amd ryzen processors with that said amd representatives told numerous journalists at ces in las vegas last week that although they are supporting the x370 boards and the older uh, b350 motherboards it will essentially be up to the manufacturer to roll out these new bios updates and this is because some of the upcoming cpus will exceed the 95 watt tdp which is the highest specified tdp number when amd launched the first lineup of ryzen processors and therefore guys all the motherboards such as the x370 and the b350 some more budget models might not have the components to handle the increased tdp that comes with these new cpus look at the flagship for example over 100 tdp so let's look at the facts for a moment we got the ryzen 5 3600 cpu that can break a core i9 9900k at 65 watt tdp that essentially means that we shouldn't have to be too worried that these new cpus will not work on the first generation motherboards considering the low power consumption the 7 nanometer brings so what this means is that if you already bought an amd motherboard let's say b350 or an x370 board many of these new cpus should be compatible once they launch after just a simple bios update so to try and wrap this up guys amd essentially showed us at the keynote was a mid-ranged cpu just take a look at this capture for example lisa su which is ceo of amd is holding up the cpu they just tested looking at this picture here at the left the biggest chiplet is the 16 to 12 nanometer io chiplet depending if they go with tcmc or global foundries as the maker of this shiplet and to the right we got the 8 core 16 threaded shiplet and as you can see here there is a space below here to fit another cpu sand to shiplet or a graphic shiplet if they want to so this unused space can either be used for navi building graphics or another set of cpu cores and threads and as for the cpu again this is most likely a ryzen 5 3600 it's just a simple 8 core 16 threaded chiplet and yeah guys with that said that kind of concludes this video i want to know in the comments below guys are you excited for what amd has for us on the horizon i cannot wait now i will be keeping you guys covered with more news and stuff regarding these new cpus prior to launch but guys that's gonna cut it for this one thank you so much for watching this video until next time have an awesome day right